The Dreaming Machine is a point-click adventure game that is made with stop-motion puppets and is just beautiful. If you have not bought this game and are willing to play a point-and-click adventure game, then I highly recommend you pick this up as it is very good. Quick summary of the game before we get into spoilers, the guy moves into a new apartment complex and then crazy things happen. The owner has a machine that allows people to invade others' dreams, and this machine goes rogue, and then you have to go into everyone else's dreams and remove the tether that keeps the machine alive. What a wacky and fun game about violating your neighbor's rights in order to save them. Now on to the spoilers. So chapter 5 ends with you going into your unborn child's dream, and this causes all of the problems. Chapter 6 is great. The problem is chapter 7, but the continuity errors start in chapter 6, so we're just going to begin there. The game ends with a machine infecting Victor and forcing him to never wake up again. Now I'm not someone who hates sad endings. To be fair, I prefer a story getting really bad and then ending either well or much better. But the problem isn't that it's sad, but it's not structurally sound. The way the machine works changes sharply in the last chapter. So far, the machine seems only to interact in a non-physical manner and just messes with the dreams. All of a sudden, the machine needs a human body in order to not die after all of its tethers have been severed. Now this almost makes sense, but the only time something even close to this happens was when it was building a body and a dream people body parts, which is still interacting with the dream and not dealing with the people who are not native to said dream world. So it kind of comes out of nowhere that he needs Victor's son's body. Then, we have the fact that the machine should be dead already. The machine is not attached to the child, so it has no energy source. And I know people might reference the ending to chapter 5, but you're not in the child's dream during chapter 6. You spend most of the time just in the center of the dreamscape trying to get to the child's dream. So why isn't the machine dead? And let's just say that it has enough energy to live for a bit. Why at the end did the machine need Victor or Victor's child's body? At that point, it seemed like he just needed an energy source to latch off of, and they're standing next to what has to be millions of unborn babies. Why not just take over one of their bodies? If you need Victor to still sacrifice himself, that's fine, but at least have the option placed on the table. This game is great and very interesting, but the ending just asks too many questions that cannot be answered with any satisfaction. Still worth experiencing, as only the last few minutes are harmed, and it's worth the asking price.